I bet you think you know what we're talking about. Girl things, right? Stereotypical things like our hair, or gossip, or maybe even <laughs> boys. Boink. Let's see if your assumptions are right. No kidding. I was at HP last weekend playing the back nine and you know that 13th hole. Anyway, so I get right onto the fringe and pull up my wedge and I thought, you know what, I'm going to use my seven iron. Did the bump and run, hit it right on the tip of the cup and then put it in for the birdie. And I'm like, I don't think I need to use my wedge ever again. Except for maybe on a par three when you make it soar over and then you get to clean your divot. I love that. So the other day we were at the pub watching game seven and I'm with, with a bunch of my hockey guys and uh, my friend Mando all of a sudden pipes in that he got a new stick because he's playing summer hockey with a bunch of these ex big shots and I was like oh well what curve did you get and he's like a jury of course and I'm like a jury of course it's the ugliest toe curve you'll ever see but he for some reason thinks that it helps you snipe top shelf so he turns to best player in NCAA Hobie Baker winner and says well what kind of curve do you use? And I pipe in a sack of course and he's like, hey, how do you know that? And I was like, because we both have the softest hands in hockey, hello. I just dropped the downrigger weight in the water. I hadn't even had a chance to like attach the line to the lure. And a rainbow took the fly and literally took off. So I grabbed the rod, pulled back, set the hook and fought it for probably 10 minutes, way too long than it should have been. But, and I swear it felt bigger than it was in you know, that old fishing story. And when I landed it, it was literally like this big, way into regulation, and I, I kept it and I cleaned it and we barbecued it and we had beer after and it was good. <laughs> Don't assume because I curl my hair or wear mascara that I can't talk ribbies, ERAs, Ks, Es, Pims, PPG, and plus minus. Don't assume that because I love OPI nail polish that I don't understand the magnitude of Vasily's bid for the Coyotes, but my heart still goes out to the Jets fans. And just because I waxed my legs doesn't mean I don't love a top shelf shorty after a sweet dangle or when the guy has the open lane for the layup but takes the fadeaway jumper just to show off. My entire life has inadvertently prepared me for this contest. I played soccer and ice hockey at the University of North Dakota for four years and I played rugby for Canada both 7s and 15s for the past three. Having said all of that, when it comes down to it, you can usually find me at the end of the day, curled up on my couch alone, in my sweatpants, watching sports highlights. I'm Megan Mutri, and I'd love to be Canada's next sportscaster.